In today's video, we're going to install MetaTrader 5 under Linux. And as you can see here, I've got Ubuntu 12.04, I think it is, 12.04. It's the long-term service release because it's much more stable. To get MetaTrader 5 running all right, what we've got to do is first install a Windows compatibility layer called Wine. So I'm going to go through the process now. It's very simple. So you go to your web browser, you go to winehq.org, and depending on which distro you're using, you'll download different packages. Because we're using Ubuntu, we can just download the PPA. I'm gonna do the steps via the command line as it's much easier to do via the command line. So we just go to terminal. I'll make this a little bit bigger so it's easier to see and increase the size here and the first thing we're going to do is add our PPA repository so we'll come over here and we can see sudo add apt repository PPA Ubuntu wine so we'll just copy that line come back over to our terminal paste it in okay we accept that It'll tell us about the key server problem. And then we've got to go sudo apt get update. And we just let that run through. I'm going to have to install a few more packages to get this up and running. So we've got a choice now. We can either install um, wine 1.7 or 1.6 so what i'm going to do is install wine 1.6 just because it's a little bit more stable so i'll copy most of that line come over here and we want to install 1.6 okay so there's 261 meg to download and 636 megabytes most of this is because i'm running a 64-bit version of Ubuntu and it's going to have to install the i386 libraries so we just click yes or you can just click enter because yes is the default I'll pause the video now and we'll come back once it's installed okay you get to a point in the installer where it asks for the licenses for the tree type fonts and you can just use the tab button okay and enter and if you agree with the license click yes and then the installation process will continue on so now our installation is complete, we can grab MetaTrader 5 or MetaTrader 4 even and start the install of that. So if we go to our Firefox browser, we can see that we can right click and save target as to download our MetaTrader installer, or we can just do it from the command line. I'll put a description below of the command to use, but we just say wget and the file that we wanna get so I'll click enter there and it will just connect to the server and start our download for us. As you can see, it shouldn't take too long because it's a small file. And if we have a look in our directory, we can see that we have mt5setup.exe. So what we want to do now is run wine with that um, setup file. So I'll just copy that and then we'll run wine. it'll take a little bit to load it'll set up our configuration there's going to be a few errors um, in the terminal behind us but we're not going to worry too much about them so what I'll do is I'll minimize the terminal and minimize Firefox so we can see better okay so We'll just click next on our installer and agree to the license agreement as per usual create a desktop shortcut and launch program when finished so we'll start our download as you can see here our downloading we'll start downloading the files so now we've downloaded it we can click finish and start launching metatrader 5. as you can see there's a little desktop icon there of metatrader 5 okay we've scanned we've got our ping so we'll click next we'll just do a demo account just a random anything And then we'll 
connect. So now we're connected. Incoming mail. And there we go. As per usual, we've got our MetaTrader windows. We've got our MQL5, so our meta editor, which we'll be making use of in later videos. So we'll just minimize that. As you can see, we've got our different wine windows that we can access by the wine bar. So we can just select which one we want, uh, make that full screen, have a look at it, um, change the period of the chart, properties, do all the, all the usual things. And it does work fairly well. Um, you notice there's no market down here. Um, and there's a few other small things missing. But for the most part, it is very stable. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And remember, trade your system, not someone else's. Just give this video a like and uh, leave a comment below. That would be much appreciated. And if you want to check out my website, it's at tradeyoursystem.net where I have written tutorials and uh, a lot of other information. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe also.